So far pulse input. But what happens now with constant input? Another favorite paradigm of experimentalists. What's the kind of graphics, what's the kind of arguments that we should use? What's the kind of firing behavior that we may expect? And this is what we are going to discuss now. Again, our Fitzhugh-Nagumo model with our choice of parameters, the u naught line is a straight line, the w naught line is a cubic function, and uh, this, has, this value has been calculated for the case that the current is zero. So the u naught line for i equals zero, we have w equal u minus one third u cube. Set this equation to zero and you have it. Now for a positive i zero, I have w u minus one third u cube plus r i zero. Now what does this mean? This means that the original curve of the u naught line is shifted vertically upward if I apply a constant current. So it's shifted upward. And as it's shifted upward, you see that the intersection point, the fixed point changes. The new fixed point is here. The old fixed point was there. And as the location of the fixed point changes, its stability may change as well. While this fixed point is stable, it could be that this fixed point here is unstable. Note that if we have a different slope of the blue curve, for example, if the W naught line looks like this, then it's not the stability of the it's not just the stability of the fixed point that which may change, but it's also the number of fixed points which may change. I have three fixed points here for zero current. I have only one fixed point here for positive current. So with constant input, the U naught line shifts upwards, vertically upwards, for positive input. While the previous argument was with hand-drawn figures, here's a real figure. We have our Fitzhugh-Naguma model with a certain set of parameters and a constant current equivalent of two units. The fixed point is up here. Suppose the initial condition is here, then we follow the flow, it's a rapid rise upwards, then it takes some time to move over here, and it's a rapid downswing, and then the whole pattern repeats. This repeating pattern is called a limit cycle. If you project this out on the voltage trajectory, I have an initial phase of upswing, that's this part here, then there's a first time when it's close to the maximum, that's this part here, then there's a downswing, a return, but it's not a return to rest, because the fixed point would be up here. Moreover, this fixed point is unstable. No, once it returns, it starts all over again, and have a new upswing, one prime. And afterwards, the pattern repeats. So, if we identify each of the pulses as an action potential, then we have here the situation of repetitive firing, periodic firing. And this periodic firing is mathematically described as a limit cycle of my two-dimensional system of equations. Now, how can I know 
that there's a limit cycle. Well, this is one of the beauties of phase plane analysis in a two-dimensional system of equations. Suppose, for some reason, I can calculate that this fixed point is unstable. Unstable fixed point. Now suppose that I find some surface and I try to draw one here. And I construct the surface such that all the arrows point invert. So let's continue like this. I would have to go up here. This is the kind of forces that would do the trick. So I know that the fixed point is unstable. So any trajectory starting in the neighborhood of the fixed point will leave the fixed point, will go away from the fixed point. So one could argue, well, the trajectory could maybe leave towards infinity. Well, it's not possible because along this bounding surface, I know that the flow is invert. A trajectory cannot leave. Rather, trajectories enter. Now, the only way that a trajectory could stop would be at a stable fixed point. But if inside of my bounding surface there's only one fixed point and this is unstable, then the only possibility for the system to keep moving is to move in a circle, to move on a limit cycle. And this is the famous theorem of Poincaré Bendixson. It works in 2D. If you find a surrounding surface such, it con such that it contains one unstable fixed point, no other fixed points, and a bounding box with inward flow, then you're bound to have a limit cycle. Let me sum up. With our two-dimensional system of equations, we can analyze firing behaviors that are relevant for biology, famous biological paradigms used by many experimentalists are a injection of short current pulses, b injection of constant currents. For both paradigms, we can discuss graphically and predict the type of solution that must appear. For short current pulses, we have found that if the pulse amplitude is small, then there's a return, potentially an oscillatory return, towards the rest. If the pulse amplitude is big, then the neuron model will generate an action potential, a huge excursion of the voltage. Similarly, for constant current, we can understand why, above some critical value, the neuron emits spikes in a periodic fashion. The periodic firing regime corresponds to a limit cycle, a limit cycle that we can easily visualize in the phase plane. Before we continue, please have a look at the quiz which I've prepared for you.